Welcome! Today's lesson, we're going to learn how to play a singing bowl. And a lot of times when I teach people how to play, it looks very easy at first, and then they have some challenges uh, playing the bowl. And what I was teaching somebody quite recently is playing a Tibetan singing bowl gives you that lesson, that life lesson of balancing between strength and softness, between force and gentleness, and then also your speed, fast and slow. When we learn to play, and when I play on my, um, on my clients, it's having that nice balance. And when you don't get a pleasant sound, it's teaching you where you can come back into balance to hear that aligned sound and beautiful vibration that comes out of it. So if you strike with a mallet, we'll start there, you can just take for any type of mallet, I call it the C strike. So if you bounce the mallet and you just make a nice C where you're balanced between that firmness but also being gentle with the, with the metal bowl, with the object that you have. If you play with the, um, with the felt mallet, I still start with that nice gentle C bounce right on the edge. And you hear the vibration, you hear the sound. And if you place it on somebody's body physically or you play it into the palm of your hand, you would bring a circle around the bowl. And what we want to do, you can watch the video if you have a bowl at home, practice this, um, just nice and gentle, is placing the mallet about uh, 90 degrees perpendicular to the top of the bowl and playing it around. So you could get very technical, but it's also, again, what I mentioned at the beginning, the balance between all those different forces of the strength and the softness and the control and the surrender into the playing. So you have your strike, and then just come around. The last part with playing is, if you're playing it on the palm of your hand, having just the palm of your hand. So the bones on the edge are the edge, rather than having those fingers wrap around. That soaks up the vibration, and then you have trouble allowing the bowl to vibrate out and up. And you can hear as I play, there's a little bit of a scratchiness. So you have to slow down as you play. And it's all a nice practice, a nice meditation. If you buy a bowl and you sit with it, that can be your meditation practice for the day. It's just coming down into stillness and slowness um, while you're playing your bowl. Thank you so much for tuning in. So that's how we play Tibetan singing bowls. Mm -hmm.